Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your October 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aries. So as usual we have four general energies on the left hand side. We have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands and the Hermit energy. The overarching theme for the month is the world Aries. Top three cards normally talk about love and romance. I'm not actually feeling that. I'm really thinking that all these cards here are connected this month. So we have the two of wands, the three of wands, the fool. We have the empress and the emperor as well. And these two cards are in your money and finances area. But I'm just going to treat this. These cards will over, you know, seem to be overlapping. So I'll treat these as, as an overarching reading as well for you. Um, but yeah, powerful cards all the same. We have an angel answer card and also a reading card for further clarification, Aries. Now, before I start the reading, one thing that I will say is that we've got an eight and nine here. We've got a three and four. We've got a two and three. This is kind of like saying, certainly for some of you, that you're getting back on track. I mean, I can certainly see that you're taking steps to getting yourself back on track. Um, so it's a really powerful message this month is that there's real progress to be had as well. So beautiful energies. We have the world card. This is a beautiful card. This is a card of success of coming through, of cycles ending, allowing new cycles to start. And obviously things are starting because we've got the full card here, which can represent major new beginnings after major endings. This dancer is stepping through to a new phase of her life. She looks back, she appreciates the journey and the lessons that she's learned. I think some of you have been on a learning curve, Aries. I think you've learned a lot about yourself, about life experience, about situations about people maybe as well this world card i also feel for some of you it is about feeling more complete getting to a point where you're feeling more complete now you see the, we have the circle here and i sometimes feel it even though this can make me a completion i kind of feel for some of you this is about feeling more whole in yourself feeling more whole in your circumstances there's real achievement when the world card appears. This can talk about monetary success as well. After all, it is the world. It is talking about worldly success. It is talking about worldly achievement. Um, so powerful message, powerful message. Let's start with these two cards here. So we are, you know, we do have the hermit here and we do have the knight of wands. The hermit can talk about your inner healing, inner finding answers from within. It is our, the communication that we have with ourselves. Um, you know, our own inner pep talk, our own inner um, knowledge and wisdom. Uh, it brings us to a point of acceptance to really move forward. You see that lantern here, very much shining a light on situations within that have hold, held you back in the past. Maybe held you back from from letting go of situations that may have have you know not allowed you to move forward in a situation. The hermit is very much about really shining a light on situations where you've had to heal things that you've had to overcome internally, past hurts, past wounds, past challenges from within, in order to release, in order to see that light at the end of, end of the tunnel, in order to make progress in your external world, Aries. The Knight of Wands is your energy in the sense that it is a fire energy. Now, this could be an offer or an opportunity on the career and business front. This could also be you really connecting to your passions and desires in moving forward in a situation. The Knight of Wands represents progress and it's fast progress. So I kind of think some of you have healed and now maybe you're ready to you're ready to move on. This is very much chomping at the bit. With confidence, finding your confidence coming back, finding your sense of power coming back, finding your sense of self coming back, um, to, to really might make progress and move forward. Now before I go to the Eight of Wands, two cards popped out here. Um we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Two of Wands as well, Aries. The Ten of Wands can be, and it is a ten, 
very much like the world card it talks about a completion letting go of old burdens letting go of things that are old burdens old challenges old obstacles old beliefs even um weights pressures stress all of that kind of thing that have slowed your progress before the 10 is saying that there's an opportunity now to release that to let go aries because this is very much you this is an aries card this is mars in aries this is you channeling your natural power and you see how small that world is and you do have the world here it's very much saying the world is in your hands here this is somebody who is understanding where to go where the, what they want in life what their objective is in life what they're working towards what they're going to channel their energies to really make happen make real because there's a real belief with this card as depicted with this, the world being so small and this person being so large in comparison so the world is in your hands you have the ability to real, really mold your world now and you may be choosing between two opportunities you may well be making a decision in some way you know making a decision choosing your path um but this is very much taking the first steps to change your world for the better realizing now that you've got that power so beautiful energy there aries now with this with this card as well the two of of ones there's fast progress again so real progress you, i feel some of you are getting back into your element i mean we do have aries here all over this reading we've got aries here we've got aries here with the three of wands and the two of wands we've got aries here the ultimate emperor so you are all over this you are feeling more in your own power and that is allowing you to receive opportunities from the divine the universe but also you engineering you beginning to shape you beginning to shape your world you beginning to take action in your world the eight of wands is about fast progress you see that river down below this is where you're getting flow back in your life you're getting into the rhythm of your own life as well very powerful message and um, fast progress there could also be opportunities generally in business and career um, but also opportunities in your passions and desires to really make headway in a situation. Again, whatever you're choosing, whatever steps you're t starting here, there's fast progress in both of these cards. So some of you may find shifts, real positive, powerful, fast shifts this month. These can talk about opportunities solidifying. Um, so powerful energy here powerful energy but I do feel some of you are making sound judgment calls certainly with that Virgo card um, you know the Virgo card can represent you know your own inner strength as well to some extent understanding is that it can be a restoration of that as well in a way because it allows you to raise your vibration from within raise your energy from within in order to move forward in your external world like I said raising you to, to that point of seeing the light at the end of a tunnel of a situation or phase of your life and and then in your external world that's when you allow your fast progress that's when you take the steps that's when the world is in your hands to shape and mold as you wish so really powerful energies um, because the same card came up here with the two of wands so again there is something about you really being able to make headway changing your life the way you want it in some way now you know this could be in relationships this could also be in money career but you're realizing that you're more powerful than you think i think some of you might be, some of you may well have breakthroughs this month as well um, certainly that world card can sometimes associate with getting breakthroughs uh, moving on to the next phase of your life allowing progress to happen so certainly some of you though are cho making choices um, that are more akin to you you're channeling your natural power and that is allowing your ships to come in there's a promise of ships on the horizon here um, this is the three of wands it's quite a close up the way they do these graphics on the uh, Morgan Greer deck in the Rider Way, you can see ships on the horizon. And the, the threes are very much about manifestation. And you've got two threes here. We've got the Empress and the Three of Wands. Um, so you're beginning to manifest. You're beginning to take steps, take action, make choices. Maybe choose opportunities. Choose which opportunity you want. 
um, in life now and and now you're making steps you're finding progress ships are on the horizon there's a promise of success here um not quite there yet but you're making tracks to manifest something that promises growth and expansion do you see the leaves here powerful energies aries and yeah then we have the fool new beginnings new beginnings promise to you so very much taking the steps manifesting change ships on the horizon promise of success with that three of wands energy and that is from having a new beginning that's from allowing cycles to end that's from really allowing yourself to turn your life around like i said i feel your world is in your hands to shape and mold how you wish uh, certainly for this month so it's a powerful energy this might take a leap of faith and I kind of think some of you just trust yourself, but there is an element here between the fool and the divine. Um, you know, he's guided because this is the divine energy shining on the fool. He's guided. There's a trust here. There's just an infinite trust. Um, there's no fear. There's no doubt. Um, some of you are really taking steps to manifest change for the better. So really positive energy here, but this is a wonderful major new beginning in your life. So powerful message, Aries. And then, yeah, where is it heading? Well, there's promise around you. The Empress is three. The, the, the beginning of manifestation. There is real promise to create. She's very much about creation. Um, and she is an evidence of creation in the real world. Um, so from God, the divine, the universe, she is the evidence of creation happening in the real world. And there's a promise when she arrives, there's a promise of, of you being able to create, being able to manifest change in your life, to really bring success into your life. She is that seed of creation. Um, that when you plant it, when you care for it, when you nurture it, which is what the emperor does, um, there's real abundance, there's real success promised. But she is the very beginnings of something, almost kind of like a new beginning. But it's the beginnings of manifestation, the beginnings that when you really take action, um, you can bring positive change. There's a promise of something wonderful. This is Venus in Taurus. And Venus can be linked to your love and finances aspect. So both career and also love, there's promise here. There's promise of relationships, there's promise of of financial abundance most definitely you know there's real promise of solidity and um, but you have to make it happen you have to take those steps now this can link to new jobs new business ventures new children in your life the birth of children um, new additions to the family uh, this can also talk about new relationships that have the promise to really flourish and thrive and the emperor is somebody who makes that happen. He will take the seed of the empress, the real promise of the empress, and he puts structure in, he puts foundation in. He um, allows that seed to grow and expand um, because he channels his power. And there is a message here when the empress appears, certainly in your reading, Aries, know your power to really grow something from the beginning and create real success. Uh, create real power in your life and um, this is somebody who takes authority takes charge of their life you see again we have the staff of life here and we also have the world in his hands here the orb is the world he has the power to shape his world his life and his world the world doesn't shape him and there's real promise now with you Aries to do that so it's about being the initiator he is the great initiator to shape his world and his life for the better and both in business finance even love and um, there's real opportunity to do that so beautiful message so the angel answer card that popped out for this month is let go and i kind of think some of you have to there is very much uh, certainly with the world card it can be endings to to cycles and um, but the hermit energy is about that release it is about healing some of you may have had to heal. Some of you may have had to process truths of situations. Some of you have had to soul search deeply in order to really move forward. But you're very much coming into your own. When you allow yourself to let go, look how fast you go. I mean, look how fast you go. 
you know. So real progress to be had. There is a message of letting go in order to, to let the new in, in order to let that full card in, start of a new cycle, a new phase of your life, a new chapter even, Aries. There is something about allowing things to end. And we have victory. Now, this can represent victory and success. Powerful energies here, late um, Aries. This is very much about allowing yourself to change your life for the better, to channel your power, to bring about successful outcomes now, because there's real promise of that. Whatever that fool is, whatever the start, whatever you're starting, you're taking the steps. I said you've got two, three. You've got um, the almost kind of like this is the Ace of Wands, so it is one, two. Um, you've got the eight and nine, you know, you've got the three and four. You are taking steps to really make headway, to make progress. And there is something about success and victory being promised to you. Certainly with the world energy, this is worldly success. So powerful message. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I'll see you next time. Thank you.